Now we move to 133. It's Luke Fletcher, the number three ranked wrestler at the class, versus Jared Simmons. So 5 0 Ohio State after 125. And we are back in action in College Park at 133. Simmons trying to do all he can early on, but there's an early two for Luke Fletcher. Fletcher, a true sophomore, unbeaten this season. 16-0 and 6-0 in dual matches. Winner of the Princeton Open. We'll say that a lot this evening. The Princeton Open, a dominant display for Buckeyes across the board. On the other side, Simmons, a guy that's really struggled so far this season. Had a decent showing last year. He just has not been able to put it together. A redshirt senior from nearby Good Council High School in Olney, Maryland. And the Terps at 133, they have not gotten a win out of that class all season long. It's been a big struggle trying to find a guy to go there. Simmons is trying to just play a little bit of defense here. Both well, wrestlers just feeling each other out here in the early minute. And here comes Simmons trying to come back with him. Has a strong hold on that left leg. Let's see what Fletcher can do. Not a signal yet. Fletcher just trying to hold him in place. It's one run, minute and a half now. At the first period of 133. And we'll have a tie up and get a restart. A stalemate issued here. These two teams matched up last season. Met at Good Council High School in Oney, Maryland. Ohio State taking that one 30 to 12. It's no secret around these parts in College Park. Since Maryland came into the Big Ten, only one win in conference. And you wrestle against some of the top teams in the country, a, a conference that's taken the last seven national championships. It's hard to rack up some wins. And Maryland's definitely experienced that. And here comes Pletcher once again trying to get on the attack. Simmons does a good job to avoid it there. So 2-1 here in period number one at 133. Pletcher trying to do something here and that's going to be a good two. Right there from Luke Pletcher, 4-1 now. So a defensive match early on at 133. Nothing like what we saw at 125 between Tomasello and Brandon Cray. And with 19 seconds left in period number one, it's a 4-1 lead for Luke Pletcher. Ohio State already on the board after 125. A tech fall for Tomasello. They're just trying to rack up that riding time now at this point. And Simmons trying to get out of it. And Pletcher says, I don't think so. So that'll take us to the end of the first period. Luke Fletcher, a great job right there. 4-1 lead after the first three minutes. And we'll to period number two at 133. And Jared Bellman here with you on BTN Plus. The Terps and Ohio State here at the Xfinity Center Pavilion. Fletcher will, Fletcher will like to start in the down position. So here's Simmons' opportunity. Fletcher gets out of it. That's an extra point for him. 5-1. Simmons 1-8 this season. In dual matches, he is winless. 0-4. Oh That's Fletcher. does a great job with def turning defense into offense there and knocks him down for a quick two. Seven one lead and we'll head back to the center. Oh, 
Iowa State again coming in to this, season, to this game unbeaten on the season at 6-0. No, and their matches have not been particularly close. The closest margin of victory for Ohio State is their lone Big Ten matchup against Indiana. As Simmons escapes there and tacks on another point to his tally. 7-2. Fletcher with the lead at 133. 17 points, the closest margin of victory for Ohio State this season against Indiana. A team that has dominated collegiate wrestling, doing so again this season, and there's an impressive two for Fletcher. Simmons doing all he can. Looked like he escaped for a second. Fletcher it takes him right down again. Simmons the escape right there to make it 9-3. Fletcher has him on the ground right there. What a move. Another quick two. And now we're up to an eight-point deficit, 11-3. Luke Fletcher. An array of impressive moves right there. Riding time now at one and a half. So we're going to a major decision at this point. Yeah, on the extra point for Luke Pletcher. Fifteen seconds left here. Second period of 133. is unfortunately could be the theme for Maryland tonight. It's ranked wrestlers across the board slated to go for Ohio State. And for Maryland, while they are an improved program, getting there against a team like Ohio State might be too much to ask for. As round two has expired, we'll head to period three. So third and final period at 133. Two minutes for Jared Simmons to try to tack on some points. And there's one right there on the escape. Pletcher on the attack again. said earlier, Simmons, the guy that just has really struggled this season. And when you're going up against a guy like Pletcher, who collects another two right there, and it's to, that uh, riding time starts to rack on just a little bit more. Back to center. Simmons, a decent year a season ago, and it's just not wrestled well this season. It's been a struggle for him for sure. Simmons tries to come back here, and it's another two right there for Pletcher. He's done a great job of coming out there, but an escape for Simmons. Deficits at nine for Jared Simmons with a minute remaining, and tack on another two for Luke Pletcher. I'm going to say a warning on Simmons for stalling. 40 seconds left here at 133. Ohio State. Looking at a major decision right now to add on to their score. Terps got tech fault at 125 at 133. It's not looking much better. 17 to 6. Luke Pletcher, the number three wrestler at 133, displaying his dominance over Jared Simmons. Simmons trying to get out of something, but Pletcher is just holding him there. Not a whole lot for him to do. And that is going to end 133. A win for number three, Luke Pletcher. And Jared Simmons goes down at 133. A dominant match from start to finish right there.